Hey everyone, this is David from Toledo Antique and I am here at Fort Defiance Antiques for part two of our series um, showing what they have at this great antique store. So if you're ever in the Defiance area, feel free to stop on by. Uh, but I'm going to give you a glimpse of what they got here today. So we're going to see some really cool stuff. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, um, like the video, and if you see anything cool that you really like, feel free to leave a comment um, about that item and tell us what you like to see. All right, well, let's get started. So we were about here when we uh, took the last video. So here you can see this wind up telephone. This is like an old style telephone. Yes, it has a crank there on the side. <laughs> and you could, I guess, would the bell ring when somebody calls you or? Yeah, or sometimes when you Oh, see, this is it's before my time. A mechanism in it. <laughs> so there was a very neat photograph over here I wanted to show you. So this is the building that the antique store is in currently. Um, but this was the original store that was in this building. Uh, it says the people's store, Craven and Roost, dry goods and notions. So... Yeah, it's a little, it's a bit of an older building here from the 1800s and a uh, really nice facade there. And then you can see kind of what they were selling at that time. Looks like some ladies clothing there. And over here, it's a little bit hard to make out, but this might be like dry goods. And then there was some gentlemen standing up front, much like people do today early when they're an early department store. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And then um, these items at the store behind the counter are like some items that are not for sale, but they're definitely cool to look at. So this sign that says no shooting, is this from like uh That's from an estate. We buy estates and we usually keep one item. Oh, okay. And that one's in the garage of this estate. But, but what did they mean by no shooting? Was it like a hunting area or something? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Then we've got like a Pepsi Cola thermometer here. So that's vintage and it's metal, metal thermometer it looks like. Um, so that's a cool item. This sign um, is very popular. It's like a ring sign, a sign for a jewelry store. Behind uh, the Masonic Lodge or something? Oh, okay. So this was behind the Masonic Lodge in Defiance, Ohio, but Looks like it was a jeweler and optician, so. Um, Joe Schottdorf. So he was uh, making eyeglasses and jewelry. <laughs> and some other cool items. Is this, uh, is this chalkware here or? Yes. Okay. So chalkware Indian there. And then. Mysterious eyes. Mysterious eyes. <laughs> Do you mind if I show some of this stuff? Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. What is this item here with the Defiance? That is a spark plug tester. Okay, so you can test your spark plugs. Yes. Does it still work? I believe so. <laughs> and then up here is a champion spark plug sign. So that's cool. And then uh, Defiance spark plugs. And just more Defiance items there. So that's really cool. And one item that is very cool here is up here up top. This is like a weather vane, a horse weather vane. Very so, yeah, that's very good condition. And those are uh, pretty valuable, probably at least a couple thousand dollars in that type of item. If you see any laying around, <laughs> you might want to pick them up. Then there's a nice Coca Cola sign up there, a couple Coca Cola signs. And so is this sign, this uh, cabinet and sash works, was that this building or is that a different building? That's a different uh, business. That was also a local business. Oh, okay. So a sign from a local defiance business. And then here is another thermometer. It says weather indicator. Over here is um, kind of a taxidermy item. Uh, I know what kind of bird that is. I've seen that kind of bird. Yeah. But what was it? 
Yes, game birds. I think that that one with the long beak is called a woodcock, because I've seen that bird. I've seen a bird like that. Yes. What is that called? That you said that's a special name. Is this a diorama? Okay. So very cool uh, historical item. And then we got uh, a Johnson gasoline sign here. So that's pretty nice. So they have some real rare items here. Um, but let's check out some items that are for sale. So they have some costume jewelry over here. And then if you need a, like a porcelain doorknob, there's a variety of porcelain doorknobs. This one, I'm not sure if that, that feels like stone almost, but very interesting. One of the coolest items in this store, I might have showed this last time, but they have this um, wooden Indian here. Yes, from a cigar store, and um, the owner was telling me that he is looking out for buffalo. So, and if you look at the headdress, it's a pretty cool headdress, nicely carved. So there's the cigar store Indian, and then here is a wooden corn cob. I saw Misty bought a corn cob doll, so she might like this, but. That one's not for sale either. But then here's some of the jewelry which is for sale. So there's like a little sterling silver baby spoon, sterling silver pin there, just some various sterling silver items. There's um, this charm with uh, pink stones on it, some turquoise, you can find a belt buckle if you need a belt buckle with turquoise. And then over there, these earrings right here, they're red copper, and turquoise in sterling. So that's very interesting. But yeah, some nice jewelry here. Um, you can see nice purple stone there. Some skeleton keys. <laughs> Reminds of our, our selling friend, skeleton keys in the closet, right? Um, and then nice, nice uh, ring back there, probably cubic zirconium, but I like the uh, gold band there little far away to see on the camera but pretty cool try to show you what they got a little uh, bear claw ring there so some Native American style jewelry and then they have a turquoise pendant so really this antique store is loaded some little glassware this one looks like a chalkware Indian here um, they have this glass head a blue glass head which is like a hat display. So I think I actually have one of those coming up in one of my estate sales pretty soon. Yeah, I like to see that kind of thing. Um, but here's some more items in this cabinet here. They have like, I think these are like uh, shaving knives, quite a few shaving knives here, some old eyeglasses. And then there's some prisms back there in the back. Oh, there's light. Let there be light. <laughs> that's definitely helpful at taking a look around and those those prisms right there look like aurora borealis and then they have uh more like clear prisms over there and some knife collections and there's another sign uh, here's a print and then this little furniture here is this a jewelry box Kind of like a miniature dresser? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, is that like a toy then? or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I uh, could play with some dolls there. If anybody's a doll collector. So then in this cabinet, they have some interesting items. Um, you can see there's like a porcelain fruit basket. And then we got a bird, glass bird on a nest. Um, some yellow glass. I like this. Uh, is this for like powder, this porcelain piece here? It's like a shaker, it looks like a big shaker with flowers on it. Let me show you. Like a powder. Oh, hat pins. Hmm. Looks like it was hand painted though. And beautiful flowers on that one. You can see the nice flowers. Um, then there's a, I think this classifies as a stretch vase. Carnival glass. Carnival glass stretch face. Let's see what else we can find. 
Um, I really like this piece of cranberry glass with this swirl on it. And then over here, I believe that that also is classified as stretch glass. Uh, has an iridescent pattern on the outside. All right, let's see what else we can find. Uh, this cabinet right here, it's like a roll top cabinet. Really good for displaying uh, little porcelain pieces and toothpick holders and things. What kind of cabinet is it? General store fabric die cabinet. Okay, so from a general store uh, fabric die cabinet. And it has this beautiful uh, decoration on the back, which I showed in one of my reels previously. <laughs> that was a good reel. It uh, had, I think, about like 2,000 views, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, over here, there's a very nice Nippon vase uh, with some nice flowers on it. I think I showed some of this the other day because I was commenting about this piece of glass with the this art glass. That's a pretty cool piece. And then also there's like the little candy item. Little piece of glass candy. All right. Let me see what else I can find to show you guys here. Uh, this is like a little um, doorstop or, or a sh shoe jack, so this, is this for taking off a shoe? Mm -hmm. Okay, cast iron shoe remover. <laughs> and then, uh, oh yes, a boot jack. So you can, it'll help you take off your boot. Um, some kind of musical, music player from way back in the day. See, there's so much to learn with antiques and collectibles. You're never gonna know everything, okay? These are uh, Chanel number no. five pens. Pretty nice, really. If you need a good pen, <laughs> that's a that's a good price on those. Um, yeah, I get that. <laughs> but it says Chanel number no. five, so what can you say about that? Chanel box might be worth four bucks, right? But mm -hmm. here's another uh, slot machine. They get some of these vintage slot machines. So looks like the brand might be a uh, Comet out of Chicago. I never find these, so they've got like three of them here. So they're doing better on the slot machines than me. I'll tell you that. Um, but then they have these really neat displays here. So let's see what we can find in the drawer. Huh. So quite a few um, like drink stirs. Hmm just a variety of items. You could look around in this store all day and keep finding new stuff. And then here's like a Pepsi Cola, like a metal rack. A lot of buttons. If anybody needs a button, you might find a vintage button here. <laughs> um, let me see, what else? We've got a little, is this Zeus? No, no, it says Moses. Mm -hmm old bottles and things and then a little copper wagon so some miniature items up here and then some more buttons these are like vintage clothespins there's actually this type of cookie that I like to make called clothespin cookies you wrap the dough around these bake them and then you fill it with uh, cream and they're one of my favorite types of cookies so whenever I see one of those vintage clothespins I think about those Got a paperweight with a snake here. Let's see what else is in this display over here. We've got some belt buckles. So, uh, looks like a shell on that one. Then like a fish belt buckle. That fish is probably jumping for a bug or a lure. <laughs> a vintage lighter with a rooster on it. That's pretty cool, nice color on that. Got a copperhead belt buckle. Reminds me of those BB guns back in the day couple pocket knives. This one's very interesting. I wonder what that is. I don't know if that's a letter opener or not. Let me know if you know what that is. <laughs> and then we've got some crystal doorknobs. This looks like an old tin type, a vintage tin type. And then some vintage lighters. We got some uh, like Cub Scout items, Boy Scout items. There's an old Woody the Woodpecker book. That's gonna be banned soon. 
And then uh, we got a silver certificate paperweight. And then uh, here's an old gumball machine. Nice lady to display hats on, like a mannequin. It's got some good makeup. Wow. And there's a cool hat on top. You got some porcelain teacups on display here. You always got to look at the teacups because I'm telling you, there's some good ones out there. And then looks like some um, like advertising signs. So these are probably, this one's probably newer, just from the feel of it. But some metal, metal signs here. Um, got like a cast iron dog back there. Let's see, this will be our last display case for today. So let's take a good look and see what we find. It's a donkey bottle opener. Huh. This is some piece of porcelain. Not sure what that one's for. Let me know if you know what that one's for. Um, an old shaver. And then, looks like a hunting dog. A little pointer. Probably porcelain uh, dog there. Some little brushes. Maybe do your makeup with those. Or dust something off. Huh. Vintage stockings from Sears. If anybody needs a good pair of stockings, it's time to get it an old crayon tin and then oh that's probably a cigar box because it says handy humidor on it and then some shaving mugs all right well looks like we've seen some cool stuff here today and uh make sure you subscribe to the channel i'm going live tonight on my youtube channel uh to sell some glass animals and costume jewelry starts at 6 p.m eastern time if anybody's interested um like, subscribe, share, and comment, and thank you for tuning in today. We'll see you next time.